Hi, I'm Richard Dunwoody and you're watching FHM.com. I think for the Grand National, you, you know, to enjoy it, there will obviously be the sweepstakes and everything and you'll, you'll get your horse drawn out of that. I think a lot of officers uh, do that as well. But 40 runners, I'd choose maybe two or three uh, shorter horses, shorter priced horses, uh, and then a couple of long shots on the day and just have a bit of fun, back them each way. So if they come in the first four, some, some bookmakers now pay out on, on fifth as well. So, uh, you know, look, look around and see if you can get a bookmaker that pays out on five or six places as well and, and just have a bit of fun. So people talk about the ground. Is that, um, and is that, does that count a lot of horses out? It, it does, yeah. If it's extremes of ground, if it's very, very quick or if it's very deep ground, um, you know, certainly some horses won't, won't ha take it, won't, won't like it at all. And um, the same, you know, alternative is very fast. So, uh, you know, see the ground and, and try and go through a bit of the form if you can. Buy a racing post maybe for a day and, uh, and go through the form and, and, and see what you, can, what you can make of it. And also, if you've got, um, let's say you're putting a bit on late, so you're, you're, you're seeing the horses in the paddock or whatever or going down, is there the good signs and bad signs you can look for? If you're actually at Liverpool, at Aintree on the day, You'll, you'll see horses in the paddock and some will look fitter and that, that's really it's just getting your eye in you know looking at a lot of horses and you'll see in the end that looks fit or they're, they're athletes so you see a horse that moves walks well uh, that's invariably a horse that uh, will be a, a decent athletic horse you know so uh, you can tell from, from, from seeing a horse in the paddock and also watching them canter to the start it can tell you a lot. And also there's betting and running now obviously in various things, sites and things and do you in terms of that, can you tell early in a race, as a jockey, do you tell early in a race if you're, is a bad sign to look for? You, you can, you can see a horse that's travelling very well, and especially in the, in the national, you can see last year's winner, Mon Mon, was travelling very, very well from, from a long way out, so there would have been, the third, even though he was 100 to 1, there would have been a lot of people piling on um, over those last two or three fences. And in, in terms of that, did you have a position you wanted to try and get to in the national, like in terms of where to I be? did, I had a, I, for my... For me, riding in the national, I always had a sort of almost a formula set set way. I used to like to ride the race. I used to jump off very handy. I didn't like having very many horses around me going down to that first fence. Forty runners, you can get into a lot of trouble if you're if you're behind horses. They fall in front of you. I've got loose horses as well. Uh, so you get a good clear run, maybe down over the first sort of five or six fences. The six fences beaches. That's the first real big big problem fence. And then you just settle into a rhythm. Um, it's it's a long long way as well but then beaches second time around you jump then canal point Aden fence canal turn and then you're really concentrating with six fences to go you're really concentrating on riding a race in, in it so and that's really then when you start pressing pressing the, the accelerator so you always won it twice now in terms of that do you have were, were they both horses that had won long distances before, over four miles say before or um, is that something you should yeah, look for yeah uh, obviously west tip had fallen the year before he was going very well at Beecher's second time around. Um, he probably would have won in 1985. Um, so he was well fancied. I knew he'd stay very well. He was proven sort of over that trip. Um, it was just down to me not to make a mistake on him and, and, and get him the right place at the right time. Didn't want to be in front too long because he was quite, he also was, was quite idle. With Mini Homer, it was we didn't know. He'd, he'd run a very good race in the Gold Cup, the, the race previous. He finished sixth. I hadn't ridden him, but Adrian Maguire had ridden him in that race. Uh, I'd been banned at the time. Um, but with him, it was just basically seeing how, how things panned out. He also was a very lazy horse in front, so again, I didn't want to hit the front too soon. I did actually get to the front with probably a furlong and a half to go. Nearly got beat because I'd got there and he idled. Um, but yeah, you just have, like any other race, you've got your tactics as a jockey and you've got to get them right. And in terms of jockeys, is there are there such things as national specialists, for example? Do well, you know, there is, you know, when you, when you see over the last few years since I've retired, obviously Carlo Ellen's been, he's retired now, he's had a, he had a fantastic record, but the jockeys around at the, at the moment, Ruby, Ruby Walsh, he's won it twice also, he's got a tremendous uh, record in the race, Paul Carberry's a fantastic rider over those, those fences. Unfortunately for Tony McCoy, he's never won it, he's been placed a couple of times, um, but every year it comes around, the national comes around and everyone's saying, will Tony McCoy win it this year? And uh, the question is always asked. See if he does it. And uh, do you have any particular horses you talk about? I know you talked about like, the general fund, but is there anybody that your, your five pounds is going on at all? Yeah, uh, we're, we're probably, as the, the, the race as it becomes closer, you, you know, you'll, you'll see horses, they'll, they'll look well handicapped on some of their last runs. 
um, at the moment. So the horses like Tricky Trickster um, stands out as well. Niche market, possibly a little bit too much weight at 11.4, but uh, they'd be two to look at at the moment.